Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. In this video, we are back in the garage to finally give this beast of a space the adorable upgrade it deserves. <laughs> Can we really install three garage doors in one weekend or should our fates have hinged on a different plan? This hurts so much. Dear my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is another episode of The Garage Build, a series where I take you along my journey to build my dream garage space that includes a creative studio above. We are doing all the work ourselves to save on costs, so I'm taking you along for the ride, sharing all of my experiences, everything that I learned, and maybe even the mistakes who knows, but it's all going to be shared right here. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a, a hot minute since I've updated you on the garage, but if you have missed any of the past episodes, the full playlist has been linked above for you, or if you have missed it because you're new here, then hello, feel free to hit that subscribe button and join this lovely Creative Beast community. We do all things home and DIY, and sometimes we can get a bit weird, but we love weird here. Uh, I gotta say, I'm very excited for this video because we are going to be installing something very integral to this garage, something game changing. So let's get into it, shall we? Editor, roll the tape. Boop. Okay, DIY friends, I am about to meet my dad. We are going to pick up something very exciting, something very integral to this garage build. Let me tell you the garage doors. I'm so excited. I am nervous because I don't know what the color is and well I do know what the color is but I don't I haven't seen it in like real life. I'm excited to like see it bring it back and like put it up against all the colors and just I don't know I, I, I'm a little nervous because you just don't know and this is not something you can come back from. Sorry absolutely no refunds. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling nervous, but let's go meet my dad. Let's go get those garage doors so we can bring them back and take a look at them. Okay, let's go. All right, we're here. I got my daddy out with me. We're just waiting for this truck to move so we can pick up the garage doors. Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Can't wait. It's like Christmas. <laughs> let's go garage doors. Well, apparently no instructions come with this thing, so it's gonna be up to us to figure it out. <laughs> hey dad, do you think this is like Ikea? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Okay friends, before we move on to the best part of this garage build, I would like to just take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. Therapy has become an important piece of my well-being and finding the right therapist for you, it can be challenging and it's gonna take some time. Honestly, as someone who suffers from high levels of anxiety, I almost found it more overwhelming to find a good therapist that felt right for me over just having the anxiety issues to begin with. <laughs> So I think if you're someone who is searching for a therapist and you don't know where to start, BetterHelp is a great starting option for you. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And this is an important mission because like I said before, finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you're limited to options in your area. So BetterHelp is a platform that just makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote. And by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. Then once you're matched, you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether that's via text, chat, phone or video call, and even better, you can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. And the part that I like the most about BetterHelp is that if your therapist isn't the right fit for you for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge and you don't need to go through that awful kind of break up with the therapist. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just stop booking with them and find someone new for you. It's that easy. No anxiety attached. Regardless if you have a clinical mental health issue like depression or anxiety, or if you're just a human who lives in this world and you're just going through a hard time, therapy can give you tools to approach your life in a very different way. Now, if this is something that you've ever considered and you think you can benefit from talking to someone, use the link in my description box, betterhelp.com slash DIY Danny. That's better H E L P. And with my link, you can get 10% off your first month of therapy. Just don't take your mental health for granted, friends. We got this. All right, therapy time over. Let's get back to the garage, shall we? Good morning, friends. I am just sitting here with Pup Pup. We're just taking a small break. I've spent all morning cleaning up this garage. Although it doesn't really look that neat and tidy back there, it just, every week, it just turns into chaos. But I think that's just the way it goes when you're working in spaces constantly. I have some exciting stuff to show you. So yesterday, like you saw, my dad and I, <laughs> God, I'm getting so sore. My dad and I went to go pick up the garage door. So I want to show you what they look like I think this is gonna look great so as you guys know the metal that we are using for the siding of the garage is going to be white and all of the trim detail is this nice matte black so I had a decision of what color did I want to make the garage and I mean the obvious was either to go white or black but I really just wanted like a nice contrasting detail just to break up all the white and black so I went with a really beautiful walnut color so this is what it looks like. How beautiful is that? And look, it has these really nice paneling details on the front. I'll throw up a picture of what it's gonna look like at the end because there's this nice window detail at the top and then it has those little panels. They're kind of just decorative that go in between and then there's this little metal, black metal detail that's gonna go across it. It's a 26 gauge galvanized steel wood grain finish. Each section is built with a solid mechanical interlocking joint using triple contact interlock weather stripping, pressure injected polyurethane foam insulation and the windows are thermal pane, uh, Orion four vertical lights clear. Um, in walnut, they're sealed, thermal glass insulated into a poly uh, propylene frame, windows are thermal pane. Well, there you go. Unfortunately, I don't know how to install garage doors by myself. Jeff and I are gonna do that tomorrow, so stay tuned on that. I thought I'd also just walk around and update you guys. It's been a while since I've done a garage update, so I really wanted to catch you guys up of like the little things that were going on behind the scenes. So one of the things was we got the garage doors all trimmed out with the metal finish. So all three of them now have this trim detail. And as you can see, the whole front side of the house now looks like like the way the other wall that we did on camera together does. So we have all of our insulation, we have all of our strapping that goes all the way across. We still need to do up here in the dormer area, but we need to get up on scaffolding to do that. So we figured we'll just do that when we put on the metal siding. And then the same over here, dad and I finally finished this section over here. So this looks great. And the backside has also been done. When I tell you guys, this is a lot of work, it was a lot lot of work. We also finally finished all the parging on the concrete boards that I had installed on camera. So as you can see, it just basically looks like a, you know, just a concrete wall here. So that's not bad, right? And so all of this is going to get filled in so you won't see any of this like gucky stuff. Oh, we, I forgot to talk about this. We have a door here. So our through door here from, that's going to be kind of like the man door um, is now officially installed. Look how good that looks not bad right I went with black felt like it was the nicest to kind of go with all the black trim and then we've also started to put some of the insulation inside so as you can see you see all this insulation here so I'm gonna be talking a lot more about the insulation in later episodes so stand by for that if you're looking for information I'm going to be very thorough about what all of this is what kind of insulation it is and what is it doing for us so stand by so today I wanted to show you some of the details that we're going to be adding in. So above each garage, we're going to be installing a light. I wasn't sure what kind of light I was going for. And then recently I went to visit my friend Sam in Long Island and I looked at her garage and I said, Hey, 
what light is that? And she goes, oh, I got this off Amazon. And I was like, that's it. That's my light. That's what I want. Those, those are the lights I've been looking for. So if you're looking for something similar, I will link them down below. So it's very simple. It just has this cap here. And look how big this is. <laughs> it's like the size of my head. It's got this giant arm on it. And then the cap will sit on the top. They did sell it on the Canadian Amazon, but it was way more expensive. So I actually asked Sam if she would purchase them for me and she sent them to me. And she ended up gifting them to me for my garage like isn't that the nicest thing she's just the best so thank you sam for gifting us these lights it just means the world but in order for us to install these on the garage what we need to do is put on mounting blocks so mounting blocks look something like this this one has a little bit of a wood grain texture which i don't love but it's going to be so high up and i don't think anyone's going to notice that it has this wood texture so i think we're going to be okay but these mounting blocks need to actually be placed where we want the lights to sit and then all of the electrical will go in behind this thing so in order to install these what i need to do is i'm going to take the same wood strapping that's on the side and basically create just like a block of wood that i can secure this little mounting block onto i need to find out where the studs are so that we're securing that wood in nice and tight so it's not going to go anywhere and then basically we can just screw those plastic pieces right in so we need to do <laughs> some measuring to make sure that the light goes in the right spot. And um, we also need to figure out how high we want them to sit, which is also another thing. I mean, um, I don't know what's gonna look good. I'm thinking maybe where that second, uh, this one right here, maybe it just sits like basically right in the middle above that. I'm thinking that might be the right thing to do, right? What do you think? You like that idea? I think Kenobi likes that idea. <laughs> Come on tape. All right, let's do this on the ground, shall we? Let's work smart, not hard. <laughs> uh, I'm very good at working stupid. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so if we're at 53 inches, we're a little off. We have three lights, ta-da! Well, we have three light boxes, ta-da! <laughs> So now that those three are done, I actually need to start working on the other side. So there's going to be two smaller lights. They're just like little um, pot lights that are gonna sit above this door and there's gonna be one that sits above the garage door. So let's go finish these and then uh, we move on. Getting stuff done one day at a time. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and now we're Matthew McConaughey in this heat. Awesome. It is a new day and it's an exciting day because today we start installing garage doors. Also, I have Jeffrey with me today. He is currently reading all of the instructions and uh, the hieroglyphs that are on these pieces of paper. Do you understand this? Yes. Do you actually then? <laughs> Jeffrey's feeling very confident that we can do this, the two of us. 100%. 100 wow. How long it takes, not making any promises. I am feeling not as optimistic in this field, um, but we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Are you planning to do today in those Crocs? Yes. Right on. So, um, how close does the door get to the thing? Question. Very good question. What did, what did you just ask? They don't have this. Let me see. Let me see this. Is this everything for one garage door? Yeah. Oh, that's not so bad. 
We got some screws. We got some rolly things. We got some uh, bracket things. We have cable. Got some of this thing, whatever that is, and uh, this robotic piece and this robotic piece. Oh, look. We can like make a robot face with it. He's going, oh no. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the first door took us quite some time to wrap our noggins around, but our first task was to build a two by six frame around the garage door that all the hardware was then going to sit on. And as far as like difficult tasks go, that was probably the easiest of the day. And then we also had to add these middle boards in the center, which our spring will be attached to later. And now the hard part begins. Yeah, okay, so. It does. Basically, our garage doors were given to us in panels that needed to be built on top of each other. So we had to install all the hinge hardware onto the doors. Then the metal brackets that hold all the doors on each side get installed with quarter inch spacing from the door to that hardware. And then once that's in place, you basically just rinse and repeat across all the doors. You install the hinge hardware, then you add these little roller wheels that help the door slide up and down your bracket. Then you just simply add your doors one panel at a time and start securing them into each other. The last panel was the really exciting one though because this was the one that had the decorative windows on it. <gasps> it looks so good! So from there we installed the steel ceiling track which was supposed to be temporarily hung to the ceiling but uh, I had a level and sometimes levels work great for things that don't need to be leveled. They're like sticks. Now that we had the ceiling track in place, we then had to create our own brackets using this steel that we basically hang from the ceiling to support that track. I will say, I think it's kind of weird that they don't give you this metal bracket with the kit, uh, but whatever. It's metal, so we could easily cut it with our metal cutting blade on our sawzall, and then we just simply measured it and secured it into place. The last thing we wanted to install this day was the spring, which will be the mechanism to kind of help us open and close our door. So we got that in place and then that's kind of where we left it. And then before the sun officially went down, our last task to prep us for day two was just to get some spray foam in all of the cracks in the second and third garage bay. That way, when we start our next day, we were just gonna be ready to go. So I feel like day one went as well as it was going to go. I mean, we have garage door. It doesn't open yet, and that's because we need to install the opener, and to do that properly, we needed a metal rod that kind of helps us wind up the spring to create tension, and that didn't come in our box set, of course. Uh, so we are waiting on that to be ordered, but the nice thing was that we worked through all the hiccups and the understanding of how these doors needed to be installed. So I would say that we were feeling pretty confident that we could get two doors installed in one day moving forward. Okay, Josh is here and he hasn't seen the garage doors yet. So I wanna see what his reaction is. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the door looks great! Look at it! It looks so good! I wanted to get your genuine oh, reaction to the door! It's great. It is a great door. Best door you've ever say. seen? Best door I've seen so far. We got two more. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it doesn't open yet either. Yep. Day two of the garage installation, and I decided I was going to recruit my pal Josh to come in and help us out just to make sure the process moved faster. I mean, we proved that two people can do it, but with three, oh boy, we are laughing. Lock and load, baby. Whoop, whoop. Ugh. Are we still level? It's interesting because uh, half the things that I've learned on this garage, would I need to take it with me in life? No.
What are you doing? You relaxing? Yeah, you. This hurts so much. You got this. You got this. Sorry. Captain's log. We're here today installing these garage doors. The application is truly alien. Door number two, moderately finished. And then we're gonna do door number three, record time. I feel like we're going to lose a lot of light in here though, because it's now dark over here, and now it's dark over here. And the only light we got is in the middle. I love the darkness. I live in the darkness. I was going to the dark. <laughs> The garage doors are in. There's only one last thing we need to do that I have not done yet. So I think we should go do it. Come on. Okay. That looks real nice. That was a lot of work. Dang. <laughs> Just like that, our garage finally was starting to look like a garage. It's kind of weird because the inside actually felt bigger with the doors installed and the vision was finally starting to come to life. And after all of the work that we've put into this space, this reward felt mighty nice. Now we do still have a few things to get installed on these doors. Our rods finally came. This is what is going to help us safely wind up that spring so that it can help the door lift up and down. I also need to add in some handles. There's these decorative metal pieces that are going on to the front. I will keep everyone updated on the progress as we finish it. Getting this done is such a huge deal and now we can focus on getting our metal siding on which is coming up in a future episode so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out we are almost there friends and once again i'd love to send a big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video a reminder to use the link and code in my description box to get 10 percent off your first month of therapy check it out and see if it's a good solution for you and sending so much love to my patreon family thank you so much for all of your support and love through this process it's been so much fun to share the details ahead of time with you of course as always my friends stay positive stay creative and keep on the Hawaiian. Bye-bye.